what is SOAR, you ask? Well, SOAR stands for Security Orchestration, Automation, and Response. The term was first coined by Gartner, who defined it as technologies that collect and aggregate vast amounts of security data from a wide range of sources and then automates the incident response task. All right, let's deconstruct this definition. Technologies that collect and aggregate data could be thought of as a SIEM, S-I-E-M, which stands for Security Information and Event Management. SIEM is passive. SIM technology receives log data from various sources, correlates the information, and outputs an alert. SOAR, on the other hand, is active. It uses SIM information to take action, not just alert on that action. SOAR is an automation platform, and so it's pre-programmed to take action on tasks such as analyzing alerts, validating security controls, resolving incidents, and essentially taking action steps based on standardized procedures and playbooks. In general, SOAR does a great job in responding to low-level security events and automating threat detection and remediation procedures, which involves many mundane tasks, such as logging the incident, creating a ticket, sending a message, updating the ticket, and alerting the relevant parties. Performing all these tasks manually can make your security team extremely inefficient. So, by automating these tasks, SOAR allows your analysts to focus on the alerts that require more human attention and deeper forensics. However, as Gartner points out, there are several obstacles to the adoption of SOAR. First, it gives SOC teams unrealistic expectations. SOAR is not a silver bullet for addressing security challenges. Organizations are at risk when implementing SOAR if they fail to set realistic and clear goals about the true value of SOAR, which, as I mentioned, is in managing the low-hanging fruit of cyber incidents. Second, security threats are becoming more and more complex, and therefore security vendors rapidly adapt to this complexity with innovative tools. Threat actors create tens of thousands of new and unknown attacks each and every day, which require new adaptive responses, so SOAR cannot be a one-size-fits-all solution. And lastly, an over-reliance on automation takes our eyes off the ball. While the core mission of SOAR is to automate complex tasks, the problem is that not every task can be automated, so think of SOAR as a focal point on the globe while you're looking at the whole planet. So in conclusion, SOAR has a wide range of benefits for most organizations, but avoid being overly confident in your automation as luckily for humans, not everything can yet be automized. For more information and the latest on cybersecurity trends, visit us at cybertalk.org.